Scientists say because Hurricane Florence is driven by warm ocean air, it can hold and carry more water as it moves from West Africa to North America. Plus, it's slow moving and has the potential to stall. So that could mean days of downpours before the storm moves on, similar to what happened last year with Hurricane Harvey, which caused flash flooding and deaths in Texas. Florence's travel speed is different from the speed inside the hurricane. Forecasters were anticipating upgrading it from a Category 4 to a 5. Instead, it was downgraded to a 3. But a Category 3 can still whip up winds of 208 kilometers per hour. Then there are those two hovering high-pressure systems blocking Florence, possibly pushing the hurricane inland off its natural course. So the struggle for emergency officials is to try and anticipate where Florence is going, when it will get there, and what level of damage it will do. Ian? Okay. Thanks, Renee. You're welcome.